All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, we can get these fonts to uh, have the color change. And like you see right here, I got it going from like a blue to a white, and everything up here is doing that. And as a matter of fact, all of my little tabs are doing the same thing. This requires a little bit more work. Um, but nonetheless, uh, as you can see here, it's like a, the color's constantly changing. In this case, it's from a blue to a white. So here we go. Let's go inside of KOWP. And I'm going to start from scratch. So let's do a blank preset. And uh, the first thing, here's what you want to do. Um, let's add, I'm going to add an overlap group and I'm going to call it Color Wheel. Of course, you can call it whatever you want. And inside of this color wheel, let's add a shape. I'm going to add a circle. And I'm going to make this circle huge. Even bigger than that. I want to make it as big as pretty much on this whole circle to cover this whole screen. So I'm going to use the uh, little formula calculator. And let's see here, if we double that to 1440, I don't think that's going to be big enough. We can still see a little bit of the corners. Um, I'll tell you what, let me go back and adjust the position of this overlap group to the center. Um, we can still see a little bit there and down here in the corner. So let's make that circle a little bit bigger. Maybe 1500 will do it. And you'll see why I'm making it this big in a second. All right, now, just I'm not going to do any global variables here. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a color. I could have left it as white. Let's do a red. And then I'm going to go, now right now the whole circle is just red, but let's go over to the effects, and let's do, you can do either a horizontal or a vertical gradient. Um, I'll do a horizontal for right now, which will be just fine, and I'm going to change that to like a blue. Let's do like a light color blue. You can do whatever you want. All right, so here we go. Now, for this overlap group that we call the color wheel, let's just have this doing an animation. And let's do a loop. And the ease, let's make it straight. That's why it's just a constant. Um, I don't want it to scroll. I want it to rotate. So loop, rotate, straight, that should be good. I don't know why it's not, but there you go. That's what it's looking like right now. Of course, you can make this rotate slower if you'd like by adjusting the time. I'll tell you what, I'll leave it just like this for the heck of it. Now, that's going to be the color change of your font. So maybe you're starting to realize what we're uh, actually doing here. Now back in root, let's add another overlap group. And uh, let's see here. Let's add a shape. I'm going to add a rectangle. And this rectangle, I want it to be as big as the whole screen. So rectangle um, width is 720. And what was that number? I can't remember now. Uh, 1280. So the height, let's make this 1280. That should cover the whole screen. Kind of like what I did with the circle, you know, using the formula thing. So 1280, I think, covers the whole screen. There we go. And uh, I'm a fan of uh, black backgrounds. And then also inside of this overlap group, let's apply some text. And this is where, so now we're covering up the color wheel. But whatever we apply to here, if we apply a clear uh, paint to it, and here's what I mean, back in this overlap group, this is the black overlap group that I have here. Let's add some text. And you're getting ready to see it come to life right now. I'm going to make this nice and big. And under paint for this, let's just change this to clear. And if we do this, we should see our color change. So let's save this. And let's go back to the home screen. 
and there you go. So basically what we did here, this black overlap group, um, this font, if we set it to clear, the way I'm understanding this, and again, I'm not perfect, uh, I'm, I don't perfectly understand all these paint options, but clear will clear out whatever is in that layer. Hence, um, the, it'll clear out this black layer and it'll show the layer beneath it, and the layer beneath it was that color wheel that we did. Um, it is very important here that you layer things correctly. For example, if I go back up in here and um, if I put my color wheel here, it's going to overlap the um, overlap group. Well, I'm trying to do it. doesn't work very well on the computer right now, but moving that, see, this, I want this color wheel to be behind that black wallpaper, and as you can see, layer in here is very important. But there you go, a constantly changing um, color. Now, you can move this font around, obviously, like if I take that text and I move it to the uh, top. Maybe you'll see, look look how much of a color difference. Look how fast that is. And the reason why it's faster up here is because the color wheel is kind of centered right here. But uh, that looks quite nice. And you got a constantly changing font. Now, obviously, you can go back. You can adjust that color wheel. You can change its colors. Or, heck, you can do whatever you want. Why is this acting so funky? But you can do whatever you want um, in that color wheel overlap group that we created. Instead of you doing like a circle with the FX, remember how we did the F, uh, the FX for the horizontal gradient? Um, you can actually just inside of this color wheel group, instead of you doing circles, you could put like circle wedges or squares or whatever and you can make them all sorts of different colors. You can put whatever shapes you want and with this entire overlap group animating, looping in the background, it's going to show whatever's back there when you put this black overlap group over it and apply the clear font that you see here. Now it does get a little bit uh, more tedious. Let me show you the one that I had. Um, this one that I started off with, this one requires a little bit more work because um, each each little tab that I have here on the screen is its own uh, little page and, e and each one of these, even though all these colors look to match, it's the way I have it set up. Uh, for example, whoops. For example, uh, let me um, see like here, the blues, all these blues, it looks like it's just one color wheel, but as a matter of fact, each little tab that I have in here inside of KLWP, I had to create a color wheel for each tab because once you start overlapping these layers, when you apply the clear font, it's only going to clear out the layer that it's on. And that's a little bit confusing. And um, I'll just, that's more of a trial and error, and you have to tinker around with it. To get this working right, it did take me, um, I mean, at least 12 hours of, of just sitting there thinking about. You know, what do I need to do? How do I make this hide nicely? And, and when I had these tabs animating, um, what did I have to do to keep that color wheel behind it from showing? And that did take a little bit of time, and it's too much actually for this video, but I at least wanted to show you how you can apply a clear font and get the color changing back here in the back. You know, this opens up a whole, a whole list of uh, new possibilities in regards to your, the colors of your fonts at least. But uh, there you have it. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.